Now this next interview made me feel so under accomplished, guys. Karis Rogers is an actress, model, dancer, singer, and the world's youngest designer to showcase her clothing line at New York Fashion Week. But this year, she's added another uh, title to that long list. Now at 16 years old, Karis is an author. Her new book is called Shine Bright and was created from her experience about being bullied about her skin tone. I had a chance to talk to Karis about the book release and here's what she had to say. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be speaking to you. Yes, I, well, I'm excited to be speaking to you. First, I have to say congratulations on your new book, Shine Bright. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah, so this is uh, your your book, but Paris, you have accomplished so much in life. You're a model, <laughs> actress, you're the youngest designer to have your clothing line on the New York Fashion Week. I mean, how are you doing it all? How do you keep up? I don't know how I keep up. <laughs> uh, it's just so much going on. And I'm super grateful that I've gotten to do while I'm young. And I'm excited to see what's next for me. I'll probably come up with something new tomorrow. Who knows? It's always something. <laughs> Which one has been the, the hardest or most exciting thing that you've done out of your, your complete list of accomplishments? The hardest, I'm going to say in general, the hardest is being young because being in rooms with people and they're looking at you, sometimes I'm the only kid and I'm just like, I'm in a room full of people that's 40s and 50s and I'm like, I'm like damn, I'm like 16, what am I doing here? And so I feel like that's kind of the hardest part, people telling me that I'm too young to be doing this, but little do they know you can do anything at any age, if you just mad I'm doing it younger. <laughs> no, I've heard that that is very true. So let's talk about Shine Bright. How did you uh, come up with this book and, and you know, why now? Um, I wanted to create a book where it would shed light on a lot of situations that I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about growing up, especially like kids being bullied in school, going through racism or even colorism. And, you know, a lot of people feel like a lot of kids don't really go through that type of stuff like anxiety, depression, bullying. And so I feel like I wanted to touch on it a little bit more. And the character Imani in my book, um, where she's being told that she looks different than the people she's trying to become friends with. And, you know, she's looking at herself different because, you know, she's like, well, I'm black, you know, I might look, might be a little, little different, but I ain't different. Like, you know, we are human. And, you know, she's trying, that brought her self-esteem down a lot. And, you know, she's talking to her sister and then her sister's telling her to shine bright and be who you are. And now you guys flexing in her complexion at the end of the book. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. And I had a chance to read the book. I love it. I think, you know, all the parents and, and kids out there are really going to get a lot from it. So I want to read, though, uh, a passage from your author's note at the end of the book. You said, what about people who don't have a family like mine? Who is going to tell them that they're more than what someone says about them? Who is going to remind them? that they are not what the media portrays. So I wanted to ask you, what what do you think the, the media is portraying out there and how would you like to see it change? I feel like the media, we live in a society where we have to set a standard for ourselves. We have to look a certain way. We have to act a certain way. We have to be a certain way. And I don't want to be that standard. I want to be me. I want to be cares. And I feel like a lot of people feel like they just have to set that standard and it's not mandatory you just have to be who you are at all costs and i feel like a lot of parents like my mom and sister um they were always there for me they helped me bring up my self-confidence they let me do stuff that i loved um helped me dress how i wanted to dress maybe help me be myself a little bit and i feel like we need a lot more of that i feel like because i don't want to set the standards of the social media i don't want to be that instagram girl or anything nothing's wrong with them i i just don't, don't want to be that because i feel like that's what the standard is supposed to be and i feel like my book shine bright is for you to just be yourself and to never change for anyone i totally understand and i think 
through your book, those people who kind of don't have the family support that you're talking about and, and your mom and your sister who, who, you know, back up every decision that you make and choice and lead you down the right path. I think that your book is really going to, you know, be that comfort for kids out there who, who don't have that at home. So I thank you for writing, for writing this book for all those little kids out there that don't have that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that they can take a lot from it and hopefully that this is their favorite book now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Candace, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And everyone out there, go get Shine Bright today. Yes. <laughs> oh, she was amazing. Yes, everyone go get that book, okay?